It's one. Okay, so YouTube it kicked everyone off. So give, give us a second. Let us know if you guys are here. Got the notification and dropped everything. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. Um, YouTube is having a as always. There we go. All right. Are we good? I think so. I don't know. So there's this whole new thing on YouTube where instead of just hitting live, you have to do an event and you have to title it and then you have to do it. So hopefully you guys see it because it kicked everyone off of uh, YouTube. So hopefully they come back. Um, you guys, I'm so excited and tired all at the same time. Um, so I'm going to give everyone a few minutes to join. As you guys join, um, welcome. And we are going to do uh, another two part video. So we're going to do the surface prep, which we've already started here. Then we're going to finish it on our other channel using um, some exclusive products. So I am super, super excited for this video. Um, and I'll tell you here why in just a few minutes. But as you guys join, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. You like our Facebook page. Um, if you guys missed it, Sean did a cooking segment earlier. It was super fun. I'm still kind of chowing on it because we are getting ready for this live. So I'm going to give everyone a few minutes to kind of join. Um, and uh, this way, when we kind of talk about what we're going to be doing, uh, you guys are all here. So, uh, Sean, if you want to take comments, I'm going to put this over here. Okay. And I knowing our, I'm going to get you uh, your restream chat up. Oh, thank you so much. You're just welcome. In case of, just in case if this just goes down, in you never know. I can go here. Plus, I can always have it up and I can type something if I need to so I don't interrupt. The only bad thing is I can't see it up there. That's I know, weird. but you should be able to. I do get to see this part. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so there you go. I'm going to bring this over here to you. Thank you. All right, everyone. All right. Ta -da. As always, we are so excited and crazy and... Oh no! Oh, See, didn't that didn't sound good. It's okay, Fatima. I'm glad you were uh, able to watch it. Oh, it's good. It's good. Yay, it's good. It All right, everyone. So, um, I know Sean has this. Uh, we got this from um, our Canadian team members when we first started. Yes. So, so I am so 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 excited. Um, so as you guys know, uh. When I joined Chalk Couture, it kind of opened a whole new door of home decor DIY. And um, last year, we didn't go to Creativation. We decided right. to skip it. Mm -hmm. But we still wanted to see what was new and upcoming. And I saw a company that was very unique and something I had never seen. But they were not yet in the United States. Um, and they've just recently launched. Literally, they are launching November 1st. So I finally get to play with the product and show it to you guys. Now, what exactly is this product? Well, let me kind of explain. I love frames that look like this. Ornate frames. Let's go to this screen here. Um, this here was a chalk tour frame. Uh, but these frames are harder and harder to find. Or they come in very limited styles. Plus, they can be a little bit expensive. Even when we were looking at getting at Hobby Lobby just the frame itself... Uh, was around $250. That wasn't including the panel and we can't even really find those anymore. Mm -hmm. But what I can find is lots and lots of drawer fronts. So if you have a Habitat for Humanity, you should be able to go here and get a ton of these. We get these for anywhere between a dollar to three dollars depending on what sale they're having. This one was literally a dollar and I get, you know, it's a it's a drawer front, but with this product we can turn a drawer front into something that looks like this. So this is a painted drawer front that we reclaimed a dollar and we added this brand new product that we're gonna be playing with today, which is Would You Bend. What is that? Let's show you what Would You Bend is and why I'm so excited about it. I warm them up whether I'm going to bend them or not because it just helps to adhere them to the surface. ends were warm now and this 
the wood pulp warms up, it just fits back in together. Yeah, the jigsaw good Hot baby, it's hot product. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. Awesome. I am so freaking excited. Um I just I can't even handle it. So in January, myself and Jasmine saw this product and we were hooked. Um, from not just a surface, but from like 3D elements, the, the possibilities are endless, but we didn't really quite get it at first. So we contacted the company and said, first of all, what are you? How does this product work? All this stuff. And literally we were told we're just starting to get into the mm -hmm. U.S. market. Yep. They are based out of um, England. England, and um, but they sent me product a long time ago to play with. And during our club couture over the weekend, we played with it for the first time. This stuff is so cool. You're going to see that just like we showed in the video, it is a solid wood piece that when you apply heat, you can bend it to any shape you want. Mm -hmm. You can add frame elements, 3D pieces. Let's show you some of the pieces that they've sent us just to kind of play with. So, of course, very, I'm it's, really... I guess the word valuable works yes. here really well. So, of course, I'm very excited about their trims that I can add to cover door fronts. But let me show you some of the other things they've sent to us. Or I can grab it. Oh, I missed my fault. So sorry. <laughs> oh, so sorry. I know you told me you were It is <laughs> the Ken Show 24-7. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Could be why I'm so tired all the time. <laughs> So all of this is stuff that can be bent by adding heat. Now, um, in the video, you saw Solly, who is the owner of it, and literally, you add heat, and then it literally bends. Now, you can add glue to it first. You can um, do a ton of different stuff. The frame we did with our Club Couture members, I only have a little bit of that left. I don't even know um, where it's at. Um, that's a good question. Where did it go? I do not know. But here is what's cool. You can add the, the glue onto this and you can seriously see it bend. So, for example, I'm going to show you the, the remainder here. This is a solid piece of wood. Can we zoom in, Sean? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. So I had to plug in my heat gun here. So it's a solid piece of wood, as you can see. We have a Wigner. Now I have this on a glass mat, but literally it doesn't take much. You can, we have a low and a high setting. Um, but as you heat it, you'll actually start seeing it separate from itself. And we can easily unmold it and utilize it. So, easy as that. Now I'll have Sean add a little bit more heat because this one has some elements where it, get, it gets stuck. Is that not cool? But what's really cool about it is we're gonna let it sit for just a little bit and as this cools, it becomes solid, basically a solid, solid piece of wood again, yeah. which is so cool. Mm -hmm. You're able to cut this with a knife. You're able to use scissors. Um, this is, in all intent purposes, able to be used on pretty much any surface. You can apply the glue before, during it, all of it. Um, so we've actually used this, and you can bend this to a pot that would go outside on mirrors, pretty much the possibilities are endless. Now, um, the uh, their website has just launched in the US. So if you guys use the Link Deli below, um, if you guys uh, are familiar with Link Deli, I have 
started a whole new link deli just for Would You Bend because there are so many different options and they are brand new. Even though uh, they are launching November 1st, you can still buy their product now and have it ready. It's gonna be shipped out of the United States. So they were waiting to get someone in the United States that could ship this product. But I'm really excited because now that it's shipping, we can incorporate this a lot yeah. more into our surface preps and get stuff. So um, we're going to do a full big reveal uh, when they officially launch after November 1st. So this is kind of a preview to give you guys an idea of how this is going to work. Um, so let's go ahead and clean up this really quick. And then we're going to bring that board out again. So literally, I bought this board at... Habitat for Humanity, mm -hmm. it was a dollar. So this is a dollar board that I bought. I don't know the exact lengths. I'll look at it here while Sean picks up that. Thank you, Shawnee. Mm -hmm. So I've already done a little bit of prep work on this because I knew I wanted to distress it. So on the back, you can see it's a cupboard door drawer front. On the front, we did sand it down a little bit and we've applied our first few colors. We've done cotton around the base we've also distressed with a little bit of caviar and then in the middle here is buttercream so what's great though is we're going to add a little bit more color to this but this will fit perfectly around it so we are going to cut it exactly like this and show you how to do it so first let's go ahead and continue distressing this sean can kind of show you this project that we finished yep. Well, I kind of get some so, stuff ready. Since this one was not as wide, we were going to try the three inch or whatever the width is. But it was just a little too wide, so we found the smaller stuff. Once we got it all rolled out, cut, we glued it down. He was able to paint it from there. Uh, somebody asked me, is it, what kind of wood is it? I think what it is, is you take, it's almost like, it's almost like MDF. It's like sawdust, a wood product, with glue, pressed in a mold, and then voila, that's it. Voila. So once you heat it, you're actually softening the glue that's in it. So it then becomes malleable or movable, bendable and all that stuff. Now we, um, what I'm so excited about this is I love being at the forefront of brand new products and introducing them. And this is a product I really am excited about because it opens up possibilities that a lot of people have been frustrated over getting nice chalkboards getting custom chalkboards it can be expensive surfaces so um this gives us a little bit more flexibility so let's go ahead and finish the prep on this so this seriously did come from our habitat humanity mm -hmm. it's for a dollar and i do use for the initial uh one we use cotton so i'm going to use a little bit more cotton and i am going to use these synthetic brushes from dixie bell now these brushes do go out of stock very quickly. Uh, however, if you put in your reminder saying that you would like to be reminded that they have the product come back into stock, it will send you an email to let you know it comes back into stock. Now, I've played with these brushes a good... We've had these now, what, probably about a month, Sean? About, yes. And I've learned some great things. And I'm going to have Sean explain kind of some of the differences. But the synthetic brushes, which is what I'm using now, these are great for coverage. In fact, we have a Dixie Bell Link Deli mm -hmm. below that will give you all the links for Link Deli. It will give you um, our review on the brushes. Mm -hmm. But basically, the synthetic brushes are good for coverage. And they are good for um, overall, uh, like they don't have the loose bristles and stuff. No. So you'll, you'll get a much smoother brush uh, stroke. Um, much tighter uh, synthetic obviously it's not real and then you have your natural style brushes like this one this is the French tip that where it cones to a tip and this what they call the bell brush it's almost like a beauty brush like you're gonna put on uh, makeup and stuff it's that soft and it's very nice so these are non synthetic so it's a uh, natural bristle synthetic this, uh, the synthetic holds a lot more paint, so less dipping into the can as you're doing it. Um, these are definitely good for when he, like when he puts the black on here after this coat, um, you definitely want to use this because you want that wider, less of a um, brush stroke look. So that's what these are going to be for. They come in different types of sizes. This is a, uh, let's see, a two inch angle. They come with a, basically this is called the 
oval medium, so it is oval. All the uh, bands, I forget the, what the words are, uh, but they're all made of stainless steel, so they will not rust. This is a two inch, two inch straight or a flat. This is an oval small, a round small, so very round, a one inch, and a round large. So definitely you can see that there's a difference between the two. So as the outside's drying, I'm gonna do a second coat in the middle here, and I'm using buttercream. Now you will see sometimes I will dip these in water. And why is that, Shawnee? Uh, by dipping them in water, it helps let the uh, the paint get into it and spread smoother because a lot of the Dixie Belle paint is very thick. Not thick, thick. It's just a thicker paint. It's not which like is a, nice because you can water nice, it yeah. down and stuff. Yeah. But um, in our second part of the project, we are going to be using something that I want it to look like it is a music sheet. So I went with their buttercream, which is perfect. And this will be our second coat of the buttercream. And then we will be able to uh, easily uh, distress the outside. And then we're going to use some of that wood you bent. So uh, we will the reason we are a little bit later than I want to is we did a lot of prep work on this. So you didn't mm -hmm. have to see us doing two or three coats. Um, this is only our second coat of the buttercream, right? Yep. Okay. And then... Uh, Sean likes to roll this, but uh, for this, I am... A brush a brush stroke looks nice. Yeah, Definitely. I'm almost kind of going for a watercolor. So we're just going to go ahead and finish this. Now, I know what you guys are going to say because I get this comment on every video. The Dixie Bro brushes are out of stock. And yes, they are. But they come back into stock almost every week. I get an alert. And uh, just sign up for their out of stock alerts. Yep, Heidi just got hers. Yeah, I have to say I'm, I'm really impressed with it and I, I can see a huge difference when I'm using them versus something else. Uh, I was using a lot of, do I'll be honest, I got them at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree brushes and obviously I can tell a difference but there is no brush marks which I like and there is, it holds the paint really nice and mm -hmm. watch it, you, uh, literally, oh it's covered. Can you show them the water? Mm -hmm. We just put them right in water and they're so easy to clean because... Yeah. And since they have that nice stainless steel collar, no no problem or yep. no worries about rust. I'm going to dry this real quick, so I'll we're going to mute. This. All right, so as that center dries, I do want to distress this a little bit with black on the outside. So they do have caviar, which is a great color, but I like their caviar with a little bit more of a dark black pigment to it, just because we are going to be distressing this with that nice kind of antique look. And you can kind of see the difference. Let me open up the lids here. Um, I don't know if they're going to be able to see that difference, are they? No, it's pretty um, really hard to see. It's pretty hard to see, yeah. But this is where I'm going to use the French tip and the bell. So these are two that are great for distressing. Now, I don't like to use those wet, so I'm going to grab a new dry one in both of these. And that way we get a nice look. The bell is more flat. This is, of course, a French tip. Now, a lot of this is not, you'll see, 100% dry, which is okay, because I kind of want a mixture of the white. So I do what's called a dry brush. I'm gonna shut it off. So it does not ding. And then I just very gently kind of go off to the side. Now, a lot of this will be covered by our Would You Bend. So we're just kind of going for this nice distressed look at first. We're gonna end up putting one more layer of white over this using this dry brush technique in fluff. And then we actually will do a final one when we're done with the Would You Bend mold. So even though this is pretty dark right now, it's going to lighten up as the final coat goes on. So do not, mostly we're trying to get this black to highlight a lot of the edges to give us that nice distress where it used to look like a white frame and now it has that nice distressing of black. Now if you get too much white, let's say over on the black side, you can actually grab a baby wipe and wipe it right down. 
Maya says, this was an ugly old frame, I'm guessing. This was we, a covered door front. It was a covered door front uh, we got from our uh, Habitat from Humanity for about a buck or two. Yeah, I think this one was a dollar. Um, they just, I, I think they just get them out of like reconstruction sites and stuff. Yep. And, okay, so now let me just add a little bit more block here. All right, so so now what we, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry, well, actually I don't even think I need to dry this. So now the next thing is, is we actually get it on the wood you bed because a lot of this is gonna get covered, but we wanna see that distress blocking. This will actually get painted mostly black and then I'm gonna do a last cover of white on top of it. Now, as you can see right now, it's pretty solid. So we do need to heat it to let it lay flat. So I'm going to actually bring up my glass tray. And I necessarily, I don't know necessarily if you need the glass tray or, uh, you know, a best, like a heating mat, but I, since we're heating it, I think it, what yeah. do you think? I think a heating mat would, is nice to have, uh, not saying you really need it. Just make sure you're not putting it directly onto something that will burn or do something Sorry. like that. Or... Just what I wanted to do is get a little bit of block paint on my <laughs> nice cream color there. Yep. So let me just, sorry guys, I'm going to have to repaint so, that real I quick. I know somebody did ask, what uh, will this stuff break when it's cold? Yeah, it'll snap and break. So you got to be very careful. Wait a minute. What will snap and break? The, would you bend? Oh yeah, it cold. would snap right now while oh, yeah. it's cool. Oh yeah. So once it's once it's uh, cools down, yeah, it goes back to kind of that original... Um, go get those lines back in there and then somebody asked me what are what would you use the oval brushes for so oval brushes are really good for uh furniture and stuff so i use a lot of the flat brushes for right now you'll see ovals is when i will grab it to do um like we did a, a stool one time mm -hmm. what i don't even know what happened to that stool it is some i think it's in the Glowforge room in the back, in the corner. Oh, gotcha. I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Did I get all those black spots shot? Yeah, or? Looks like it. It's supposed to have kind of a aged watercolor look. So if we have a little bit of black specks, I'm not too worried about it. All right. <clears throat> so... Let me go ahead and make sure that's no more little black pieces getting there. All right, so just as we said earlier, I'm gonna grab a glass mat just to be on the protective side. I'm gonna put that under here. Now we could heat this and lay it flat and paint it and then reheat it and all that, but I'm gonna just go ahead and re or heat this and get a measurement. You could cut it up here, but we basically need it to be the full length of this. So we want this first one to be right around 23 and a half inches. I might not have enough. Hmm. We'll see how far we can We'll see how far we'll, we can get, Sean says. So we know we need two 23 and a halfs. So, just like we showed you. So obviously, um, the bigger, the thicker, it's going to take a little longer to heat, but you can already see it's kind of giving way. Now, if you get the heat too close to it, it can burn. So you do want to use a little careful there. 
And you don't want to just force it to unravel because it can snap on you. Do they maybe want to see it from that view or? There we go. There we go. see where 23 and a half is going to be here. I'm afraid I might not have enough. I didn't even think about that. It's basically going to be yeah, a couple more. Somebody asks, if you're a little short, can you stretch the U-Wood bend a little bit while it's hot? Ooh, um, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I will say sometimes in these rolls, the one thing I am finding, and we saw this during our Club Couture, is some of these have a pattern on it. Like, can you zoom in on that, yes, Sean? Okay. So, like, these have this little kind of pattern here. And these, even know that it's releasing, it can get a little stuck on those. So, I, I say to people, like, just got kind of heat it. And if it feels like it's stuck, it's probably on one of those little deal hoos The nice thing is, though, if, even if it does kind of break... Um, it's really easy to fix this stuff. I don't want to burn Sean's hands off. All right, I think we're almost there to the 23, because I said it, what, 23 and a half, Shawnee? Say again? 23 and a half? Something like that, yes. I would say you are right. So 23 and a half is about right there. So we have a couple options. You can um, cut it anyway. I've been using, here they are. I've just been using my Fisker's DIY tools. And we're just going to cut it right, just like that. And now that I've cut it, it'll be a lot easier to lay flat. Carol asks, do you need a heat gun or would a hair dryer work on high? Let's try. longer but it does okay. Carol the answer is yes so it does take a little bit longer but I will say it's a little bit easier to use because the heat gun does get so hot and you can see even though I was very careful I still got some burn marks now I'm not as worried about that because we are going to be painting this on um, but yeah, if you only have a hair dryer, I think you should be okay. Diana says you can stretch it. I've seen Solly do it. She is so awesome, you guys. I can't wait for you to... So this is going to be a pretty good fit. And to Sean's point here, we are going to have to stretch it a little bit. Um, and what I mean by that is you can see when we um, when it dried, it kind of went... It dried in this pattern and we don't want that. So I, I don't have wood glue. I have some on order because this is literally something we've never... Played with yet. Played with yet. Um, so, uh, should we grab my hot glue, Sean? Yes. Okay, so while he grabs that, I'm going to grab this because we are going to make some cuts here because I want the cuts to line up with this that I have here, which are just regular cuts. So, let me grab my hair dryer. Just apply that. 
Can you come do this thing so we can heat that? Are you muting us or no? Okay. Are we muted? No. Oh, perfect. No, I don't want to be muted. There we go. So, hair dryer, I have to say, I really like. Uh, it's not as hot. I have a lot more flexibility with it. You saw we could curve that. I do want to cut this right along this, so I'm just going to... And if it doesn't line up perfect, it's okay, because we're going to be utilizing... But it just, like that, cuts. Do you want to... Oh. I don't want it to cut too easy. Let me see. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Mm -hmm. You're the best. You so I keep these pieces. You'll see why in just a second. And we're going to go ahead and glue down our first piece here. Now you can see I'm just following the, the texture of this frame. So we are going to heat it as we glue. So what I mean by that is we kind of want the flexibility of the glue, but also to dry. Maybe we can just do super glue and dry it underneath of it. No? As it heats? Oh. What do you think? I we think... need wood glue is what we need. Yeah. Do you have my hair dryer? Sean, you must have my hair dryer. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to figure out where to put everything. In there. I'm wondering if we, you don't have to keep muting us. Okay. I'm wondering if we should just do, I guess we'll do hot glue. We'll wait for it to heat up. All right, so I am going to remove my inside paint here, or these, whatever these are. Are these just, oh, this is our placement tape. Placement tape. Look at that. And while our hot glue is getting up, I might as well cut our next bend. So I'll put this over here, and we're going to get, hopefully, another cut out of this. We want to be at that 23 and a half, is what I said? Mm-hmm. bad news. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that, since it is taking longer, I'm going to grab this. Do, do we know which Fiskars these are? Um, I think they are called... They're, oh, they're, oh I, I was going to say there's a name on it. Yeah, they're called the Power, I think. Power Step? Power Cut. Power Cut. Fiskars Power Cut. Yeah, they'll cut through leather and everything. They're nice. So it's part of their Fiskars DIY tool. Be very careful when um, placing this down. I placed this down during our uh, club couture. I was like, Sean, there's something on this. And I put it on its own cord. Yep. And Sean's like, you gotta be careful. That stuff's hot. Be careful, Sean, that's hot. That's right. Hot, hot, hot. All right, let me measure here real quick because we're getting, I think we're getting there, Shawnee. Um... I was, if you saw the video, she's actually holding, this would be Solly, the, the uh, owner. She holds at the end and does see? this and it just drops as it goes. 23? 23 and a half. Okay. Cutting through leather. All right. So, um, when I say this is literally our first time really playing with this product, I'm not lying. Uh, because I didn't want to get excited and then show you guys something that wasn't going to be available. Yeah. 
Can you move that glue out of the way so I don't accidentally burn myself? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. This is so cool. Look at that. I know. Just on a hair dryer high. Yeah. That's so cool. I love it. You guys, this is going to be my new addiction. I'm telling you right now. So I missed the beginning. Did you tell us the price point? We did not. So They are all different price points. I will be honest with you. The website literally is launching November 1st. So the website I gave you down below, I'm probably one of the first people to send people to that website because it's so new. Mm -hmm. Um... This is actually a perfect cut. So I'm just cutting it with that Fisker's tools and then just taking the excess. But I'm going to keep these just in case I need them. And then this is perfectly, so I'm gonna heat this up. That is just so freaking cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get these glued down and then we can worry about these. Cause I think I'm gonna have, do you think I'm gonna have enough? I should. I should. Yeah. Let's think positively, Ken. All right. So now you can see why I wasn't as worried about the paint because a lot of this is getting covered, but we really wanted that natural look here. So before we add any glue, we're going to do one more heat and I'm just going to heat this and then turn it over. heat what I'm doing just to let you guys know is I'm manipulating it if it's not fitting perfectly which um, is okay now that I have it where I want it I'm gonna flip this over on the flat end on my glass and make sure it's nice and flat on the glass mat Katie asks, could you put the rolls in pieces in the oven? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Wouldn't see why not, but I guess we'd have to be just real careful. So I'm just going to be doing this in spritz just because um, it does cool pretty quick and I'm going to have to heat it as we go. So give me one sec here. All right, so well, let's heat this. And we want to make sure we heat enough to lift it up so you don't snap it. Remember, it will snap once it kind of cools down again. So I can now add this. I'm going to heat this in just once again because I don't want to snap it. Hang on, hold it. It's fine. I get it. Diane says if you have an old griddle, you can turn it on low and lay the pieces on, on it. On top oh of foil. my gosh. I didn't even think about that. You are so smart, girl. Uh, Kristen Dang, Kenny, how, how do you find these sites before us? So I found them, look at that. I know. I can't, I can't even right now. Um, so literally we, um, you can go test why I sure. tell the story. So um, every year we literally, um, 
look at Creativation and see, is it worth going to? Um, obviously, it's a worth going to to see friends and catch up with, a, you know, people in the industry. Sorry, little girl. Uh, but this last year, we didn't see anything. And when I was going through the vendor list, I said, Jazzy, look for anything unique. And she said, I found something. It's called Would You Bend? And at first, I didn't get it. Like, Chalk Couture, I was like, I don't get this. But then I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm going to show you for those that are just watching or joining. We're going to start on this end here. And first, what I'm going to do is, can you go back to the camera, oh, Shiny? Sure. There you go. So first I have it where it's the, the uh, it's you can see it's a solid piece of wood. So I want it down so I can get it nice and flat, first of all. So once I've done that, I can bring the frame in and we're going to start in one spot and manipulate it. So you can see it kind of turns here. So literally we just heat it and you can bend it. Can you bend it, son? Okay. Oh, it's way long. Just set. You can cut it. Yeah. That's a little longer than I wanted to be. You go and let yours in go. Thank you. That's okay. Let's go ahead in. Can you hold that? Oh, this. Unfreaking real. That is crazy. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to start up at this end. You guys, I'm having way too much fun with this. And I'm going to start here where it's nice and even. I'm going to add a little bit of glue. I'm not going to do too much because I need to get this bent just right. So I'm going to add this by putting this following this right here because I really want it. So once I've laid the glue down, I'm going to dry my hair or hair dryer. And you want to heat this because we're going to lift this now, add glue, and we're going to be able to bend this to our cover drawer to front. Our go down to that that dot okay thank you so we just down to the that dot yeah Okay, so I'm gonna, are we on mute or no? They can hear us? Okay, go ahead. I'm heating this. No, no, I want you to cut it. Okay. So you can see it. I have a little bit of an overhang here, so I'll have you actually do this and I'll show them. It's literally easy to cut. Somebody asked, can you put this stuff in water? I would say water and wood do not mix. <laughs> So even after it's glued down, if you have parts where it's still not perfect, now grant you we had to hot glue, but over here, I have a little raised piece. I can actually just... Reheat it and add just a little bit of hot glue under there or uh, super glue. Go ahead and put it in there. Oop, it needs to be a little higher. Oops, sorry, sorry. Go for it. Okay, and then just maybe put too much on <laughs> Can I have a mm -hmm. look at that? Nice. Perfect. Look at this. This is insane, you guys. I can't. I literally can't. So we have these two edges done. Let's measure this. 
I'm having way too much fun with this. So let's do, it looks like we are 19 inches. So let's all pray to the Ken's creation God that I have enough to do this, which I should. So this material again is probably what I think is sawdust and glue pressed in molds. I think that's what she told us, didn't she? I don't know. I haven't heard. The that. biggest thing I will say is when I first did this, I tried to force it. Do not force it. No. Just let the heat take control. You got to remember that when you get this, it's probably been in this state for a while, a little while. Yeah, sorry, I'm not Canadian. I'm wearing this because it just looks nice and has... He put the... Riles had to go to the vet today, and he put her in a Canadian harness because we yes. also got that from our Canadian friends. And so he... I forget. I, I think it was Barb that got it for us. I'm trying to remember. Is, or was it Isabel? Isabel. Isabel got it for us? Yep. See, you can see it's already... This is un real here, I'll give you this, and I'll unfold it. So by any means, don't force it. Just let the heat do its job. But use caution, because we're using a really high temp heat gun. Yeah, this is um, like 1200. It, and it makes it go a little bit faster. Uh, but the hair dryer is a little, I think, safer because it's not as hot on my hands. All right, let's see. How much? How long did I say it needed to be? Nineteen. You can, you can do maybe eighteen and a half ish. <laughs> Hurts, doesn't it? I, I actually hit the rubber, but the rubber's hot too. So literally, that's where I think I'm going to make the cut. Yeah, I'll give my. Uh, Eh. Oh, I'm so nervous I'm not going to have enough. Here, let's measure the whole thing. You would need a total of 30. I think I could do it with 30. You need 38. Well, if I need to, I can just get another trim. I have another trim in there. I think it just will look different. Which is okay. It'll give it a nice vintage -y feel. We're literally working with... Small beginnings, right, Shawnee? That's right. Okay, so let's measure. Oh, sorry, Sean. Goodbye. Hit uh, this section here, so I This is unreal. Like, you look at it and you think, like, wood should not do this, nope. right? Well, it's not a real piece of wood. It is, but it looks like a real looks, piece of wood. It looks like somebody has actually chiseled this in a piece of wood, but it's a, out of a mold. It's amazing. It's magic. All right. How much did you say I needed? You'll need a total of 38. Well, we are not going to have that. So we're going to have to make it work. So if we, we'll just cut it in half and see where we get. So you want half or do at least one side is complete and then the other no. need three fourths. Why no. would we need 34? Well, like we just need from here to here, right? Because we're going to be doing an angle piece. So I could use some of that. Mm. Yeah. So even if I got 14, that's 28. So let's just cut right. it in half and see what happens. You have to measure from here to here because I no. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I realize, Sean, I don't have enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have we have made that assumption. So 18 times two is 32. So we are two inches short. So we know this. So we might be okay once it lays flat and we stretch it. Is what I'm saying. Okay. So if we cut it in half of what we already have here, mm -hmm. that's what I I guess I'm trying to get to you at. And then I think we can just stretch it. Oh, I was going to measure the halfway point. All right. I hit the button by accident. So 34 divided by 2 would be... 17. Can you... Uh, mm -hmm. I need a hairdryer or something to heat it. You got it. Oh, we're there. Oh, we're going to be just fine, peeps. That's where these little pieces come in. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going to start with this piece right up here. Now, we already know we're going to try to stretch it as much as we can. I'm going to turn on my hair dryer. Have you hold that?
Oh my gosh, it stretches. I can't. This is magic, Sean. Okay, okay. I'm too excited. All right, let's... I'm... I'm this is overstimulating me, Sean. I love it. All right. You want to heat that for me real quick? Okay. All right, so when we did our Club Couture Live, this is what we did. We filled in the pieces with this and I'll show you. It's so easy. So first, We are going to make sure, I'm going to give that to you real quick, and go ahead and I'm going to bring this over to my side. Can we hold that? Okay, go ahead and heat it for me. Okay, so just like we did on the, the sides, we're gonna heat this. We're gonna be able to stretch this and make this fit perfectly right in here. So I know, the innuendos, I, t I already know, I already know. When I was playing with my wood the first time, I got it. I need to, yeah, there you go, good. Okay, so let's go ahead and start gluing it, bring it up. Put some glue under there, careful. to right about there. Mm -hmm. Can we hold that? It literally stretches. That is insane. How is this real? <laughs> okay. Let's do this side. And then we'll fill in these gaps. This is unreal, you guys. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Can you? Mm -hmm. This is crazy. The laws of physics tell me this should not work. Sean, do you want to give my wood a big stretch? <laughs> this is going to get bad very quickly, people. You guys are going to get me into my... I'm going to be in they're trouble. Already, they're already doing that. You guys! Okay, Sean, try to stretch it. Okay. No freaking way. This is magic. I can't. Oops. 
How is it stretchable? This defies logic. Okay. You guys, I'm I'm having a moment. A moment like this. Okay, I'm gonna cut this. I'm so overstimulated. I can't, I have to stop. I get going on that. That's easy. Let me... Okay. Alright, let me glue this part down. I can't. Sean, this is... I can't. This is not going to be good for us. I'm just telling you that right now. Okay, stop, stop. I'm trying to glue. <laughs> okay, can you go back to comments? Thank you, love. Mm -hmm. You're the best. Let's see if I lost anybody yet. Why would have you lost someone? Nice handiwork, stretching on the wood, Sean. Thank you, Heidi. Okay, excuse me. Okay, you get caught up in the comments and I'm gonna okay. finish this. Thank you. You're right, I'll come. So why bother painting the frame like you did only to cover just curious, not critiquing? Um, wasn't really sure what, what we were be, doing. What's going to be visible either. So I literally planned this project right after he did his cooking show. So we're going as we learn, right? Mm -hmm. So in the future, I probably wouldn't have. Right. Whoever had that question, I probably yeah. wouldn't have painted it now that I've kind of played with this yeah. and saw how thick it this is. Um, I didn't realize how thick the wood was, so. So I know Kristen asked, how did we get the samples? Ooh. Okay, well that, oh, thanks. OMG. This, I can't. It's, this almost is, like, it's almost like clay. It is. Almost. Okay. Okay. All right, um, you can, while I fix these pieces for them, or show them, um, you can tell them the story of how we got the samples. Basically, so I we, reached out to yeah, them and I so said... We, yeah, once we found out who they were and where they were from, because you do get information about them, um, uh, since we were part of the uh, creativation, and once we did that, we reached out and they said, oh yeah, blah, 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 and they said, well, we got you, here's some stuff, so play, play with But it. they gave this to us a long time ago, yeah, a long time, and... Quite a while ago. We I haven't really even played with it that much yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. we didn't know if they were going to be coming to the States. Yeah, I had no idea. At the time that they were at Creativation, the only place you could get this was at select retailers, but they didn't carry the entire line. So we didn't know that if they were going to have a whole line here. So does it, does it say... You're just going to have to ask over it. I know. I'll come up here so you can hear me a little better. Um... Whoops, where'd it go? There it is. Jane says, does it does it say that you can stretch it or you just or you or are you just that good? Amazing. Um, I believe someone said that you can, that they actually saw the owner who is Solly Joe from England show mm -hmm. her doing it. You can there are a couple of videos out there her doing, and I think it and it and it feels like, you know, as you heat it, it's enough to stretch, especially mm -hmm. this thicker material, because it's got enough to stretch. 
Yeah. All right. You can go test while we chat through them. Sure. I'm just gonna fix these little pieces by putting little pieces in there. Now, I will say during our live, can you grab the other board that we had? Oh yeah. Just show them like on the corner pieces that they're not perfect and no. by distressing them, it really does. We're gonna be distressing it black, so you're really not gonna see any imperfections of stuff like that. No. All right. Thick wood, you make it too easy. I know. I we didn't think of the innuendos when we we literally I'm I'm running on like three hours of sleep, so would you bend should be warmed on a hot plate or do mine in the oven? There you go. go. Once it comes up, give it a whirl. Let us know. We just don't have an oven down here. I know, right? Alright, I think I'm gonna start distressing it because these pieces I can add later, but I really let me add a little bit of here. I'm gonna heat this and then add that, but I think once we paint it, a lot of that's gonna go away. Okay. Uh, Lydia, that is the Tim Holtz glass mat. Glass mat from... Uh... All right. Working for 48 hours, yikes. That's a long time, patients. Tell them to get home. Right there. A little, little shorter. Can you go back up to us? Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. That's okay. So here's the deal. Um, they literally told us when, uh, just even a couple days ago, that the U.S. site was going to launch mm -hmm. soon. And that literally the website just got uploaded. <sighs> How long ago? Two days ago? Yeah, something So like it's that, yeah. brand new. So yeah. this is just kind of a preview to show you guys. We're going to do an official launch of this uh, as soon as they, I think November 1st is their official launching date, Sean? Is that what it said? November 1st? November yeah. 1st, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get out and we're going to start distressing this. And... We're going to still heat this as we distress it, so we're going to turn that off for a second. That's one of your feet. Yeah, I know. Maybe we should hot glue on. <laughs> I know. Let me go get some butcher paper. Could you maybe share the screen and um, go to the website to see how much a roll of this stuff is? Roll of what? Oh my god. Roll of this paper? I, oh, a roll of this. Oh, oh wait, what? Oh you don't have god. a roll of anything. It, it, it works out oh. all Sometimes I feel like, what is it? Stimpy! You idiot! Oh, where'd it go? A roll of what? What do you mean? A roll of wood button. What? Where's that? Oh, Sean, I love you. Sure, Roll. desktop. Oh, sure, I can. So this is, I think, under trim. There you go. Here's the. Um, there we go. The site here. Yep. So, so that's get, everything's in centimeters, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. So we wanted to see what was trim. Trim. So roll of trim. I don't know what this one was called, to be honest. Um, while he's looking that up, I'm gonna grab. He's going to show you that. So it looks like a roll of it. Right, this one in here. Okay, click on it. It's right underneath all of your stuff there yeah, that you can't see. They can probably see it, but you can't. Mm, nope. Doesn't say. Well, they did say the site won't be till November 1st, so maybe that's why. Yeah. Tell me. All right, let's go and go to this real quick. Okay, one second. Now, if I get a little bit of paint in here, I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to wait till... Oh, you can see us. So, I'm grabbing my French tip. And we are going to put... 
just like this. We're going to brush it on. And we are going to do a pretty big fill on it. And as people have noticed, now that I have this trimmed down, we played with it. We see how easy it stretches. We see um, how valuable it is. I probably wouldn't have painted the board, to be honest. Um, I would have painted the sides because it was an ugly brown, wasn't it? It was a kind of a deep cinnamon brown color before we got a hold of it. It was a dollar. And obviously we need to um, look more into the wood you bend and, and see what the how much this roll is. But I can tell you right now that it, for those of you who have done other frames, those Verity boards were how much? Oh, jeez. 100 plus? 100 No, that was our cost. I want to oh. say they were 250 weren't yeah, they? Something like that. It's really crazy. And they were really hard to ship just because they're fragile. Um, so if this gives me the ability to make this out of a dollar cover drawer front, oh my gosh. Allie says, we were never smart enough for physics. We barely passed geometry. Oh my gosh, we had to retake so many tests. Geometry, I'm telling you guys right now, geometry, there should be no world. It's either you get it or you don't. Well, there should be no world that says, why does this circle equal this square? Right? Mm-hmm. Where's water? It, there should be no world um, where this square equals this you know what I'm saying? Proof. We had to prove proof, things. Proof like, it was Why? stupid. Who cares? Like, I have nothing to do with it. All right, so we're going to dry this. Mute. Mute. Okay. Sorry, Sean does. One second, one second. So this was the first initial. Now we need to, you're going to see in spots, it's still, can you take down that? Oh, <laughs> I forgot to put it up. Because we've been going mute off. My oh. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I'm supposed to have a drink. No reason. Drink, drink, drink. From 9 a.m. till now, it's go, go, go time. All right. Where do my brushes go? Well, you have some in here, so. So someone asked earlier when I would use the round brush, right? The oval one? Or oval, whatever this mm -hmm. is. This is when I would use it. So I'm going to grab some of this. This is cotton. And there is areas where this is still wet of the black paint, which is fine because we're doing this nice distressed look. This is when I would use the round is to do a nice highlighting over where we still have that black coming through, but now we have that nice white. Look at that. You did a great job on that gold one. What gold one? The one out with the uh, haunted house. Oh yeah. The black and the gold. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was beautiful. So as we add the paint, you can see little areas that didn't really come together with the Would You Bend, like right here. You can't even tell. You literally... Nope. 
Can't even tell. Nope. And believe me, we still have, we're going to add some more depths and layer to this because I want it to be more um, white with black. So this is just kind of our first couple layers, but it's not looking bad for a dollar reclaimed drawer front. Should we show everyone in the back what it looked like beginning it? Oh yeah, I should. Okay, flip, let's flip it over and show you the back. Go ahead and do it. So this is what the what it looked like. So that cinnamon stain. I mean, you're gonna be able to do mirrors with this. You're gonna be, uh, possibilities are endless. So I'm taking the round brush now and I'm getting into these deep crevices and off to the side here. Now you're gonna see, I'm gonna hit some of this in the inside, which now that we know how thick this is, we probably wouldn't have even painted the inside, but we could just always learn as we go. There is no secret. Literally, I do a lot of, Sean calls it pouncing. No, that's what you call it. I call what do it, you call it? I call it dabbing. Dabbing is when the, a kid goes and does that thing and they're like that. Yes, I don't know. Why would you call it dabbing? Because you're dabbing. Dab, 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 dab. I call it pounce. It's like a cat. Like Simba. When he pounces, you know? I'm probably making everyone that loves these synthetic brushes and giving them anxiety because I'm like, they're like, you're ruining your brush. But it seems to be working great. Now we could add, um, what's their next color up? Fluff? Or is, fluff is the next color up, right? From white, yes. Yeah, so it goes cotton, it cotton then, then fluff. Fluff and then whatever after that. And then it goes into the reds. We did all of this prep work and we didn't need to because it's all covered. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take long though, but. We don't need no break. Breaks are for losers. <laughs> Work till you die, which for me might be soon. Now. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm going to be so addicted to doing like restoration now on stuff. Looks like an expensive frame now. It does. And we're not even done yet. I want to do my bathroom mirror, says Jan. Wouldn't that be awesome? So if you go to their website, the Would You Bend, the one that I gave you in Link Deli, go to, I think they call it their, is it say gallery or inspiration? Yeah, one of the I two. Think, one of, maybe both. Maybe both. So, all right. So I am going to take all this because this is overfilling. And do you want to start drying that real quick? I will. I'm going to put you on a little mute, guys. Okay, Sean says I need to do black. Is that what you're saying? That's one thing. And then finish with the white. Yeah. Okay. Barely. 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 Just barely. barely. Can you maybe take down that? My apologies. You need to watch back our lives. I should. And then you will get all the comments of people saying, Sean, please take that down. Sean, please take that down. Sean, do you know you're muted? <laughs>
All right, let's dry that real quick. Sean, or Sean, jeez. <laughs> Sharon says, what about a touch of gold or silver? <gasps> and you're here in my mind. Should I do the gold first and then white again, or gold on top? What do you think? I can use that powder she sent me and see what it works. Or no? What do you think? I, I too. I, I, I'd wait until you actually work with the gold to see what it does. Gotcha. Before you did it. Alright. Can you just um, fold in my butcher paper or get me a new one? Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys, this stuff is pretty amazing. So even if you find little gaps, I'm noticing just add a little heat and it easily bends. I'm gonna be finishing this with white because um, I really do want more of a white with just the black distressing on the bottom. So we're gonna finish it with fluff. Now fluff is a little bit darker than cotton. Um, I would say it's probably two shades darker, which is kind of what I want. So you can see the difference. Let me see if you guys can see the difference. That's, I mean, white's really hard to tell the difference of um, what it is, but it's more of that kind of Dark. color. Darker white, yeah. So all of these pieces I'm keeping because I can use these as fill-in pieces. Now, once again, once they're cool, they're, they're hard. I mean, from the innuendos, right? Okay, Shawnee, here you go. Thank you. You're the best. Do you have tinted wax? Oh boy, do you. Oh, I do. You got a gazillion. Forgot things. about that. You guys are giving me such good ideas. But the overall, um, I kind of know what I want to do as the final project. So I, I really do kind of want a brighter white. Um, let me grab. So we're pretty dry, right? Pretty close. There's probably a couple of white, wet spots, but. There we go. That's what I want. This is pretty cool. It absorbs the paint really nice so that you're not worried like I I thought like sometimes when you are working with certain um, MDF or other wood when it gets too wet uh, it starts to pill or you get where you don't get good coverage or it absorbs all the paint and this isn't like that what's your first thoughts on it Sean or are you on Sean land now nope I love this stuff it's amazing how well it takes takes everything and of course there's some other stuff that we'll eventually get to show you what it does, we haven't we haven't begun to play with it yet, but it's coming. So the literally over the weekend was our first project we really did with it, which was that first board, which we can show you again. Um, but this is so cool that this started off as a one dollar board round, and now it's exactly that distressed look I really was going for. Go ahead, Trump. So it started off like this, and then ended up like this. And that was just a thin, that was thin. Just thin, a little one inch. Yeah. I mean, that, that's probably even three quarter inch. Um, but when I did that with my Club Couture this weekend, I was like, oh, this stuff's pretty cool. And uh, I was working a lot with Solly before COVID. And then COVID hit and it just, you guys all know what happened. I don't. We don't need to revisit that. But that's why it, I think it took a while. Plus they had to find a distributor in the United States uh, because originally they were going to ship out of Europe and the shipping was a little... Too expensive. Yeah. So now that they have a distributor, this is so exciting because it's not just a few pieces. It's their entire line. 
I'm really excited about it. What do you What I mean, do you envision us doing? I can't wait to see some other things we can do with it. I mean, there's so much more to it. Yeah. I mean, when you look and look on their website to see all the things they've done. Their mannequins got. they've done, like their cosplay shirts, almost, or not yeah. shirts, but their outfits. Mm. Did yep. you see those? No, I have not seen those. Jasmine's either. the one that showed me those. Those are unreal. I bet. Where else do I need some, Sean? He's awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to paint this middle part, which is nothing exciting. And then um, we will probably be back. What time is it? 803. Surprisingly, it, there's not much on the next part that we're doing. This was mostly it. Now, um, go back up to us real quick and we'll kind of explain it. So let me explain that this is just kind of a soft debut of this. I just wanted to play with it and get a feel for it. And then we, November 1st, which is next week, when mm -hmm. they officially launch, we're going to do a... Um, welcome party. I'm uh, hopefully going to pick a day where Solly can actually come into uh, the live and chat and uh, give you guys inspiration and stuff like that. Um, but this is... Uh, and, there, and our system has a new interview program. Oh, it does? Yep. Oh, yay. You just give them a link and you just click it on and boom. You don't have to oh. use Zoom. You don't, have to use, you don't have to use something else. You just... Ooh. Go on their computer or the phone and boom. I haven't tried it yet, so I just live as though COVID isn't a thing. I know, right? Maybe we should we should do that all together. Mm. Um, all right. So if you want to see this finished, we will be probably. I know it's late on the East Coast. I apologize. We'll probably be eight thirty on our other channel, and uh, we'll finish it over there. And it really isn't going to take long. There's a few things that we have to do, and it's all done. But let's show them. Kind of, it's still a little wet. I have to dry it, but. For a dollar, I mean, this is what it looked like before. Mm -hmm. And we're still putting some finishing touching, but that's, that's unreal. A, I know. This stuff is so cool. So cool. Cool. All right, guys, we will see you on our over at um, our other channel here in about a half hour. Yeah. See you there. See you then.